with me is bhutan's foreign minister so welcome to beyond my first question to you is an obvious question how do you see india bhutan relationship uh, this relationship has seen a lot of close engagement uh, amidst the covid crisis both countries helped each other as well if you can talk about this special relationship thank you very much uh, as many of you know bhutan and india share a very exemplary and very long relationship as of now the two countries between our two leaders there has been very close um, cooperation uh, his majesty the king visited india very recently just last month and uh, i would like to take this opportunity to thank the government of india especially prime minister modi for giving all the support during covid and we were able to effectively come out of covid because of his large support mm -hmm. secondly the fact that bhutan is graduating from a low income country to a middle income country is largely because of the support that india has provided over the last 60 years of our development history so i would say that bhutan and india share a very exemplary relationship like no others uh, anywhere else mm. connectivity has been one area of conversation we saw during the king's visit uh, there was announcement on railway connectivity if you can elaborate on how both countries are working on connectivity especially the railway connectivity um the connectivity mou was signed a decade ago but however it could not materialize because on the ground there were some difficulties so now we have relooked at uh, the site and we have chosen a site on the um, assam border site which will make it much easier for the railroad to be connected bhutan has also recently requested for an international second international airport to be established uh, at a place that is called gelifu which is very near and also we have signed a number of uh, agreements on the riverine route that will connect as i mentioned in my statement between bhutan india and bangladesh mm -hmm. at the same time also we have come to an understanding that we need to build the road infrastructure so that the uh, transportation of goods between our two countries could can be enhanced mm -hmm. and that's why i feel confident that uh, going forward it is important that the bbin should be re uh looked at from our bhutanese parliament side mm -hmm. uh so during your address you mentioned about uh, the security issues in the indian ocean you mentioned about uh, the sovereignty and territorial integrity should be respected we have seen certain reports as well with respect to china um across the world what do you have to say about that if you can give an update or the bhutanese position on what the relationship has been between bhutan and china especially when it comes to border uh, situation Bhutan and China likewise also share very close and cordial relationship. Uh our border at the north has not yet been demarcated, but we have had 24 rounds of talks and we continue to have our expert group meeting and we hope that it will come to uh, resolve very soon. Mm. Last year we signed a three step approach to resolve the border. Mm. Uh so we hope that this three step can be taken forward. Mm. Um we are waiting for the next expert group meeting to be uh, to take place mm -hmm. where further discussions can take place as far as the border is concerned there is peace and tranquility along the border and there is really no big issue from from bhutan side um, we only hope that we will be able to demarcate this border very soon there have been reports that the chinese are back in doklam uh, others uh, what do you have to say about that can you clarify uh, on those from our side the chinese have always been on their side of the territory and we have not uh, we have not seen that they have incursed into into bhutanese territory as far as as we are concerned mm. so my final question how is india helping you in terms of space uh, we know recently isro has provided a lot of help if you can elaborate on that uh thank you very much again uh, i would like to first thank the isro chairman for visiting bhutan last month and also for launching the first indo bhutan sat which has already been launched it is in space and also when the isro chairman came to bhutan he set up the um, ground station that will be able to collect the data from the satellite and help us monitor our forests and our land use patterns and i'm sure that going forward we will continue to have further collaboration in the area of space mm -hmm. thank you so much sir. thank you very thank much you, thank you sir with video journalist chandrashekar sidhan sibal for vion in dhaka yeah.